Let's go. I'm hungry. Look, Tom, I don't think it's such a good idea. What? The column's gonna be ready in two hours. Oh, that's all right. I'll have an hour and 40 to eat dinner. <laughs> There's some stuff in that window I don't even recognize. Yeah, me either. If you're really worried about the column, we can always go back to the office. It's you could chase me column. around the desk a bit. It's not the column. Let's just go somewhere else, okay? Why? I've been waiting all week for this. Your father's supposed to have the best Chinese food in town. I don't like Taste Chinese food. Italian. I don't like Chinese food. What? You're ashamed of me. You don't want me to meet him. I can't believe it's that. It's not you. Ashamed I'm not to ashamed to take you there. Don't rush me. What do you mean? It's important to me, Tom. You know that. You're important to me. culture that's so foreign to carve out new lives for themselves to begin to feel safe the warm feeling that comes with belonging to work so hard just to catch up and then realize that maybe you shouldn't have bothered that maybe the rules aren't so very different here my father doesn't know the men who were killed they'd never been to his restaurant before right, i understand you were talking to two men just before the shooting started now who were they mr Kai? customers they didn't say I'm asking your father. Customers. He didn't know them. No? We got two witnesses who say they saw you arguing with them a couple of minutes before the shooting started. They wanted us to close the restaurant for the whole night so they can have a party. They shot up this whole place because you wouldn't let them have a party? We don't know who did the shooting or why they did it. Isn't finding that out your job? Why don't you tell us what you know and maybe we'll have a shot. What is it with you? Huh? You want to repeat performance here? If you can think of anything, why don't you give us a call? Hey, Kevin. This is Lonnie Kai. She works with me at the Eagle. This is Kevin O'Brien, Frank Jambone. I was hoping to meet both of you someday, but uh, not like this. 
Well, do you have any idea what may have happened here, Miss Kai? No, I, I don't know anything. No one would want to hurt my father. Well, someone sure as hell did. This is not an accident, Lonnie. I'm sorry, I just don't know. Two guys get out of a limousine and they walk into a crowded restaurant. They open fire with automatic weapons and nobody has seen anything. Nobody knows anything. The only customers in the restaurant who told us anything at all were the Ellis's. We have them downtown looking at pictures. I don't expect much. You talk to the rest of them, you think it never happened. I checked out everybody I could find on the street. Nobody got the plates on the limo. No identifying characteristics. Nothing on the victims, either. Looks like they were both armed. Forensics is doing a rundown on their weapons, but the serial numbers are filed off. We're circulating pictures, but so far, looks like a dead end. Better get used to dead ends on this one. Can't figure it out, Chinatown, no matter what it is. Murder, extortion, loan sharking. People down there are more afraid of the cops than they are of the guy that's threatening them. Yeah, well, I'm not so sure these cars are afraid of anybody. Well, just make sure it doesn't turn into a war. Remember, anything you get down there, you're gonna get it on your own. Call him ready? No, no, not quite. Just another person I have to talk to. I can't tell you anything, Tom. Can't or won't? Okay. Look, it doesn't take a genius to figure out what's going on. I mean, it's protection, right? I'm... Your father's restaurant's doing okay, and there are some men who figure that they should uh, have a piece of it. They wanted money. Well, who's they? The triads. My brother thought he could stand up to them. He asked some people to help. Well, those people had guns. Don't you care what happens to your brother? Of course I care. I'm telling you everything I know. How are you? You sound like your friends. Well, they're just trying to help you. So am I. Sure you're not just after a story? Is that what you think? No. Let me help you. I don't know anything. My world's here. The paper, my work. I don't know anything about Chinatown. Oh. Somebody must. They're afraid. The triads kill people who talk. Well, somebody has to break the silence. It's not going to be my father or brother. I'm going home. You, uh, you want me to? No, you better finish your column, Tom. Composition room's waiting for your copy. Don't. Don't worry. I can look after myself.
months now, and it still feels like I just met her. Well, she wouldn't be much of a woman if you could find out everything about her in three months' time. Yeah, but I don't understand the secrecy. Look, you and I have been friends for a lot longer than that, and there are still, well, a few things you don't know about me. Well, I mean, that's different. Well, uh, if this sort of thing was happening to your family, I'd know about it. Would you? Look, her family thinks of you as an outsider. Now, whatever problem they're having, they want to keep it to themselves. She's got to respect that, and so do you. No, 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 no. What I'm trying to get at is that I didn't feel like an outsider to no, her, and if her family was in trouble, then I would try to help. Well, maybe that's why she didn't tell you. Maybe she doesn't want you involved in this. She wants you out of this. <laughs> why, because I'm not Chinese? Because she doesn't trust me? Who, Lonnie Kai? Yeah, Lonnie, uh, Lonnie Kai. Well, I wouldn't feel too bad, Tommy. Runs in the family. Can't get the brother or the father to tell us a damn thing about the humps who shot up their place. Well, I'm scared. I mean, I'd be scared, too, if I was up against the triads. Triads? Lonnie tell you that? Yeah, I figure. It used to be when people got scared, they called the cops. Yeah, well, why don't you try looking at it from their point of view? To them, you guys are outsiders. You don't speak their language, you don't know their customs, and you don't even know what they're afraid of. And where they're from, the cops are sometimes worse than the triads. So we got to earn their trust to get their cooperation, right? But we don't get their cooperation until we earn the trust. How do we work our way around that? Well, I guess you, uh, you do it one person at a time. Well, looks like your brother may be getting into things a little deeper. My brother hasn't done anything. You don't match guns with the triads without starting something. Danny hates what those men are doing to our people. But he wouldn't hire gunmen. Danny hates guns. Looks like there might be one or two things that you don't know about your brother. Now, do you have any idea where he might be right now? I came to you so you could help us, not so that you would put my brother in jail. Look, all we want to do is find him before they do. You've got to start trusting somebody. Mad's place is on the second floor in the front. That's where I'd run if I were in trouble. Okay, we'll take it from here. No one will talk to you. Let me go up alone. I don't think that's a good idea. My brother's not gonna hurt me. Well, how do you know he's not gonna run away again? Hmm? Let's go, Frank. Why don't you put your feet up? I'll go around the back. Danny? Down to make a statement. What are they doing in there? They're just asking him a few questions. They'll be all right. We saw what they did. Now, why the hell don't you tell us who they are so we can stop them? My sister's mistaken. Nobody did anything to my place. But your door just fell off the hinges. I lost my keys. I was a bit drunk. Lonnie said two men were after you. She wrong about that, too? I'm not responsible for what my sister says. Your sister is trying to help you. We are trying to help you. If she wanted to help, she'd stay where she belongs. She doesn't know how we live. She doesn't know who we are. That's crazy. She's your sister. Maybe a long time ago, but 
not anymore. You own a gun? Yes. I have one at home and a permit for it. Why do you own a gun? Look, man, I'm a victim. My father's a victim. Why the hell are you hassling me? I didn't shoot anybody. You know who did. I told you, I don't know anything. You expect us to believe that crap? You're a witness to a homicide. You're withholding evidence, which means we can book you on obstruction of justice. Or maybe we'll put you on a stand. You can tell your fairy tale to a jury. You like the sound of a perjury rap, Danny? Huh? <laughs> What'd you get? About what I expected? Nothing. We could hold him as a material witness. We'd be wasting our time, Elaine. He is not going to tell us anything. Damn it. So how are we supposed to get anything on the triads? They're into drugs, prostitution, protection, you name it. And we can't even get anyone to admit that they exist. Well, you kill someone who's even thinking about talking. You don't get too many people thinking about talking, do you? So what do you suggest? Cut him loose. Maybe we'll find out something. Could get him killed. Elaine, I don't like this any more than you do. But he's not given us a hell of a lot of choice. We'll stick close to him. Don't lose him, Kevin. Right now, he's the only shot we've got. Jeez. Uh, what's happening to Denny? We are cutting him loose. Cutting him loose? You know where we are if you change your mind. Yeah, I guess I do. But don't hold your breath. Where are you talking to Alone. Why would you tell the cops where I was? I'm trying to keep you from getting killed. They can help you, Danny. How? These guys wouldn't know a triad member if he was sitting on their lap. So talk to them. Give them the information they need. Danny, you have got to let them try. Is that what your boyfriend says? Yes, that's what Tom says. He cares about us. Yeah? Since when's one of them worried about one of us? What's he gonna get out of it? Or has he already got that? That is none of your business. I'm still your brother, aren't I? I don't know. I don't know you anymore. You get two of your friends killed, and you act as if you don't even care. They knew what they were doing. They were trying to help their own people. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Lloyd?
Yeah, restaurant was closed. Woman called it in and said she heard a shot. And no one saw anything, right? Got any idea how they broke in? The kitchen door was Jimmy. Whoever did it knew something about alarm systems. Put in a bypass. Very nice job. They went to a lot of trouble to kill an old man. I think it wasn't just him. It was a message to everybody else they got their hooks into. Yeah? Wonder if Danny got the message. Where is he? All right, find him. Pretty sent uh, Christine and Colby over to his house. Miss Kai? No. No more questions. I don't know anything. That is what you said before, and now this happened. This isn't the time, Kevin. You're right. It should have been a lot earlier. We need your help here. Will you lay off? Excuse me. I'm going home. I thought I'd gotten away from it all. I thought it couldn't hurt me anymore. This is me, Tom. This is what I want to be. It's like every time I go back there to Chinatown, it's like I never left. I get caught up in the madness and the fear. Why can't I forget about it? It's part of you. It's where you're from. You shouldn't be ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed of that. It's just... My brother lived his whole life in five blocks. I wanted more. Is there something wrong with that? Not if it makes you happy. It does. I can tell. I thought I knew what I wanted. And everything seemed so simple. My father knew the men who killed him. Why didn't he go to the police? Why did he try to fight? If I had been the daughter he wanted, if I hadn't been so ashamed of him, maybe he would have listened to me. Maybe he'd still be alive now. Stop blaming yourself. You know it's not your fault. I don't know anything anymore, Tom. We have checked all over Chinatown. Nobody's seen Kai. Or nobody will admit it. Nobody will even admit that they speak English. It's like they're all working together. 99% decent, hardworking people down there. Till something like this happens, then they close up like that. Sounds like you've been there. First big homicide I ever caught when I was made detective was a stabbing down in Chinatown. Young girl. Very pretty. Never forget her face. Worked my hump off on that one. Six months off and on. So what happened? Nothing. Never got a damn thing. 900 Center Street, room 212. Danny Kai. How'd you get that? It's a dealer I know that works Chinatown. One of his friends is the desk clerk at this flop house. Danny checked in about two hours ago. Nice. Very nice. All right, you guys, why don't you get on over there? Keep an eye on him. Don't make a move.
What's the story, Kevin? One male oriental dead about two hours. The coroner said his neck was snapped. One clean break. Sounds like they know what they're doing. Anything else? Yeah, they found a handgun in the body. Forensics doesn't have much hand, and yet they're still doing their work up. Do you uh, suspect Danny Kay? The guy who ran the store was sweating bullets, but he didn't see anything, he didn't hear anything, he didn't know anything. Sound familiar? Triads. Yeah, it looks like Danny is evening up the score. Well, maybe the first thing we should do is try and find a name, get it together with that face, and then we could bring in Lonnie Kai. Well, I guess we better. Doesn't look like anybody else is gonna talk to us. How can I help you? There's been a killing in Chinatown. We'd like you to help us with the ID. It is not your brother. Never give up, do you? It is the way the job works, Tom. You know that. What's the point of dragging her out in the middle of the night? She doesn't know every hood in Chinatown. It's all right. I'll go get dressed. Things are tough enough without your getting in my way. But don't push so hard. Can't you see what this is doing to her? I saw what it did to her father. I'll come too. He's one of the men I saw at my brother's apartment. Could you recognize the other man if you saw him? I think so. Here's the dead man. Ricky Chung. He's been in the country for two years from Hong Kong. That's the other one. Manny Singh. And Ricky Chung. Now, you're sure these are the two guys who are outside your brother's apartment? Yes, I'm sure. His neck was broken. What do you think about that, Miss Kai? Martial arts, Lonnie? I don't know. That was Colby, the guy we're looking for. He just turned up. Oh, well, I guess we should pay a call on him right away, huh? Let's go. You don't mind giving her a ride home, do you? If uh, Danny gets in touch, we'll give you a call. You found my brother, haven't you? He's not bad. Please don't hurt him. We'll do our best, Miss Kai. This is the best so far. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what? We ought to write a book. Call it On Stakeout. Or subtitled How to Choose the Best Fast Food, the Finest Fast Food in Mid South. Written by two of the finest, or fastest. What do you think? Should we rip it? I think so, too. Chopsticks, my, my. She still up there? Hasn't budged. You want to move? Yeah. You guys cover the lobby, the fire escape. We'll take the stairs. You want the last one, Tom? No. Maybe he was one of the men that put bullet holes in your father. 
Maybe it's not such a bad thing that he's dead then, is it? Is if you made him dead. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill anyone. Then where the hell were you up until an hour ago then? Taking a walk. In the middle of the night. I don't sleep too well anymore. Mm -hmm. So you decided to take a walk, hmm? You sure that's such a good idea? Chinatown's getting to be a pretty dangerous place these days, in case you hadn't noticed. Is it? Danny, we are not stupid. We know. You were waiting for them. You were planning to kill them. I was out for a walk. I don't know anything about anybody getting killed. He wasn't killed, Danny. He was executed. I guess he was. Listen, if you ever find out who did it, give him my number. I'd like to thank him personally. What's the matter? I don't know. Nothing ever seems to work out, does it? Come here. I feel... I feel like two people. Like, torn between two worlds. Not really belonging to either. Half a person there. Half a person here. Both of them unhappy. Well, is there a way that these two people can be happy? I don't know. I mean, I look at my father and those people who think just like him, and I think there's just no way that Lonnie, I could... Lonnie, Lonnie. Try looking at us. not admitting to anything. He says he was out all night walking the streets. He still won't give us anything on the triad. Right. The guy risked getting himself killed trying to take him out rather than telling us who they are. Now, what kind of sense does that make? Well, he thinks we can't do anything. He thinks he can. There's not a whole hell of a lot he can do locked up. If we brought in his sister, maybe she could convince him to cooperate. No, I don't think he's going to listen to her either. You know, I'm almost sorry we caught him. He could have probably taken on the triad single-handed. You don't mean that. Well, at least he's fighting back. At least he's trying to do something. Funny, the courts don't quite see it that way. Tommy just called. Somebody just grabbed Lonnie Kai. What? I was about a little banged up. I told the special to have him brought in. As long as they've got his sister, they know Danny will never talk. Yeah, maybe.
tried to stop him. Like hell you did. You let him take her. Huh. You did what you could, Tom. Well, it wasn't worth much. Does he have any idea where they've taken her? Well, if he does, he's sure not sharing it with us. Son of a bitch. He figures if he makes another move or talks, they're gonna kill her. Well, they're not gonna let her go. She's not like one of the others. Why don't she talk? Yeah, try telling him that. Can I? What? Can I go in there and talk? You really want to be alone in there with that guy? Might as well give it a shot, Jim. We don't have anything else going. Okay, Tom. Hmm. Keys. to do nothing. Don't you care what happens to your sister? Don't I care? You were the damn one who let him take her. Well, maybe... Uh, maybe if I was a better fighter, they wouldn't have taken her. Maybe if I carried a gun, but... That's not me. I... I couldn't stop them. If I could have done anything, if... If I could do anything now, I'd do it. Anything. But I can't. Very nice. Real convincing. Now you can go write it up in some sad little story. Go home and call it a night. You know what's driving me crazy? that I can't do anything that's killing me. You can, and you're just throwing your chance away. You're throwing your sister's life away. One word to the cops, and they'll kill her. You think they're gonna let her live anyway? Her only chance is if the police get to her first. <laughs> Maybe if you would have trusted the police in the first place, the triads wouldn't have your sister, and your father would still be alive. Easy to talk in here. Try it down in Chinatown sometime. Yeah. Maybe you're right. What kind of flowers do you think Lonnie would like for her funeral? They've got a warehouse on Breen Street, Hong Kong Harvest Trading. They might have taken her there. Don't let him hurt her, okay? Need we say more? Let's go. Carson and Colby are out back. They're ready to move. So what's up? Nothing's changed. It's still inside. You guys there? Yeah. All right, wait three minutes. You don't hear anything from me? Make your own move. Roger. Let's go.
Police, don't move. Protection. The way some people use it, it hardly means anything. Pay me not to kill you, or burn your store, or hurt your kids. What do you do when you're faced with an option like that? We can either go along with those who intimidate us, or fight them and pay the price. The price can be high, but that's why we respect those who choose that path. They make it a little easier for every one of us. We couldn't have done anything without your help. I guess. Danny. You know it's not finished. Let's just start. We can break these guys with your help. Well, we can do it. You see what happened tonight, man. You just gotta work with us. Okay, I'll see what I can do. a few words with my sister. Alone? Are you always gonna treat me as an outsider? That's what you are. Coming? I have to go with you. I guess you do. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Yeah.